We have been at crossroads in the past, and unfortunately, we have usually taken the wrong fork. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you took the right road. Alabama is a deeply conservative state. Donald Trump won it with 62% of the vote at last year's presidential election. That's right! Nobody really thought that the Democrats could pull off a famous victory. In many ways, this was a referendum on Roy Moore, but of course, it's a huge setback for Donald Trump. I think he's going to do very well. We don't want to have a liberal Democrat in Alabama, believe me. We need somebody in that Senate seat who will vote for our Make America Great Again agenda. So it is a bad setback for Donald Trump and also the Trump playbook. In the face of these allegations of sexual misconduct, Roy Moore denied them vehemently and attacked his accusers. That's very much in line with how Donald Trump operated last year. But that didn't work here in Alabama. And realize when the vote is this close, that it's not over. This is a setback for Donald Trump because it makes the arithmetic on Capitol Hill so much trickier for him. Before tonight, it was 52-48 in the Republicans' favor. Now it's just 51 to 49 in the U.S. Senate. And that's going to make it a lot harder to push through legislation. There are important issues facing this country. There are important issues of health care and jobs and the economy. That's been a recurring problem of the Trump presidency. They haven't managed to repeal and replace Obamacare. They haven't got a tax bill through yet. There have been Republicans who refused to back the president's agenda. And all it takes now is just two of them to withdraw their support from a Trump administration bill and it won't get through the Senate.